So judging by the fact that we've got this bubble stuff all over the place, can I assume that somebody's done something really stupid with it? You are absolutely correct. What we've got is a viral video where a guy wraps himself up in a bunch of this bubble packaging, hurls himself off a three-story building, and at the end of his fall appears to be totally unharmed. Well, it is designed to cushion things. Yes, it is. Bubble Pack was created to cushion cargo. It's like a wild gas. But can a few inches of the pimply padding break a 35-foot fall? In other words, can this three-story story really be real? <laughs> yeah, we did it, Bob. All right, Buster followed from 35 feet in bubble packaging. Three, come on, Buster. Two, one, go! Oh. That was a satisfying thud. I don't think it was a survivable thud, but it was satisfying. While four inches of bubbles did reduce Buster's G-load, he's still three and a half times over the lethal limit. So Buster's dead falling naked and dead falling wrapped in bubble pack, where does that leave us? Well, I can't help but think that with enough of this stuff, sooner or later you'd be safe. I totally agree. Let's head back to the shop and see how much it would take for him to survive this fall. More bubble trouble. I like it. Build this stuff. So first up, the guys are going to see which style of bubble pack, mini, medium, or heavy duty, has the best cushion credentials. To find out, the guys attach impact accelerometers before raising the human analog to a benchmark six feet high. Here at 16 inches, these three measurements are effectively the same. That means that the more bubble wrap we wrap around Buster and ourselves, the less important the type of bubble wrap. I would not have called that. Work and our testing have paid off, and it now seems like it is time for me to wrap myself in bubble packaging and get thrown off a building. I I'm not going to the full 35 feet just yet. No, no. the first drop I'm going to do is to replicate Buster's 15-foot fall. <laughs> Am I scared? I have to admit, I'm a little bit scared. OK, we're going in three, two, one. <laughs> There's no doubt about it. The padded pod plummeted. But how's the cargo? Oh. That silence rings alarm bells. The team rushes in, and Jamie is the first to the scene when... Oh, I'm OK. I'm OK. While it came close to crushing him, their bubble barrel did protect the plummet, peaking at just 9 Gs. But remember, in the clip, Bubble Boy jumped from 35 feet. All right, here we go. Buster from the full 35 feet in three, two, one. <laughs> that was perfect. I think that was perfect. All right, to the torso. Okay, peaked right around 29 Gs. Ow. Yeah. The head, it's quite a bit higher. You can see it's about 48 Gs. 48 Gs. That would hurt. Dude. And that is barely survivable, but you'd be talking funny for the rest of your life. Yeah, that's quite a hit. I am so glad that I did not try this one. Yep, although Adam and Jamie's mattress mechanism offered way more protection than the Bubble Boy burrito, this three-story story is nothing but busted.